Altivar machine. Getting started with ATV340. Hello, I am here today to guide you through the steps once you receive your Altivar machine product, from the reference verification to the wiring and commissioning. Here is the label on the product, which has to be compared with the purchase order, at least the reference number of the product, here, ATV340. After ensuring the product corresponds to the purchase order, verify that the mains voltage value is compatible with the product. Before starting the wiring, here is a quick description of the range. It's a 400 volt supply network range available in five different frame sizes from 0.75 kilowatts to 75 kilowatts. In this video, the first frame size will be shown. The product has to be mounted vertically as shown in the ATV340 Getting Started document along with all other mechanical constraints. Let's start wiring the product. The supply is connected on the upper side of the product and the motor is connected on the front of the product. Both sides have removable connectors. Please refer to the tightening torque instructions for all screws. Start with motor connections with ground connection first. Same operation on the supply side. STO connections use spring terminals connectors. On the control part, do the same operation with both potentiometer for speed reference and DI for run order on the CN6 connector. The connectors used are also spring terminal connectors. Once the wiring is done, we are ready to adjust the first settings using either the graphic display terminal, the plain text display terminal, or SoMove as explained in the Getting Started document. In this video, we will be using SoMove. Let's have a look at SoMove tabs. The My Device tab shows the global configuration of components. My Dashboard contains some parameters. Parameters list is where simple start settings will be performed. In the Simply Start menu, most of the basic settings will be found namely motor basic frequency, motor parameters, type of control, and dynamic settings for speed. Some settings can be left in factory settings, while we can set successively NPR, nominal motor power, UNS, nominal motor voltage, NCR, nominal motor current, FRS, nominal motor frequency, NSP, nominal motor speed, TFR, maximum motor frequency. This icon shows that the parameter has been modified. ITH, motor thermal current. Once all these parameters are set, an auto-tuning procedure has to be performed to allow the drive to fine-tune the motor characteristics. This will create a small noise in the motor, which is totally normal. The last operation to perform is setting the drive according to the application requirements. In this example, an acceleration time of 25 seconds and a high speed limited to 45 hertz. The installation is now ready to run. Need help with SoMove? Press F1 on any given item to open the contextual help or the product programming manual. 
Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you.